Imperative. Imperative. I M P E R A T I V E. Imperative. That's correct. Vibrato. 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 Uh, can you use it in a sentence? Sure. The music teacher commented that some vocalists use vibrato to hide the fact that they can't sing in tune. Vibrato. 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 Right. Would you like to hear an alternate pronunciation? Sure. Vibrato. Okay. Vibrato. V I B R A T O. Vibrato. He missed it. Yes. Um, it is spelled V I B R A T T O. Now, can we pause one one second? You know what? I was wrong, guys. It's one T. You're back in. My, my apologies, guys. I should have been using my, my magnifying glass. The judges, you were correct. Thank you for saving the spelling bee. <laughs> Benefactor. Benefactor. And can I have the definition, please? Sure. A benefactor is one that makes a gift or bequest. B E N E F A C T O R? That's correct. Okay, this word has a homonym. The word is pampas. The, the, la the, the part of speech is it's a plural noun, and the definition of pampas is extensively, extensive, generally grass-covered plains of temperate South America east of the Andes, prairies, pampas. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Yes. Pampas. 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 P A M P A S. Pampas. That is correct. Wise Acre. Could you use it in a sentence? Sure. The class Wise Acre has a long way to go to be even half as smart as he thinks he is. Wise acre. And the language of origin? It is a Dutch word. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Just one. Wise acre. Wise acre. W I S E A C R E. Wise acre. That's correct. Okay. This word has a homonym. It's clabbered. It's a noun. And let me give you the definition of clabbered. A narrow board that is usually thicker at one edge than the other and is used for weatherboarding outside walls. Clabbered. Clabbered. C L A A B U R D 
It is spelt C-L-A-P-B-O-A-R-D. Clabbard. Contiguous. Can you give me the definition? Sure. Contiguous is touching or connected throughout. Contiguous. C O N T I G U O U S. Contiguous. That's correct. Pinafore. Pinafore. P E N E F O R. Pinafore. The correct spelling is P I N A F O R E. Pinafore. <laughs> this word can be confused with a similar word. The word is iguana. It is a noun, and the definition of iguana is any of a number of large herbivorous, chiefly tropical American lizards being typically dark colored with a serrated dorsal crest and attaining a length of several feet. Iguana. Iguana. I-G-U-A-N-A. -A. Iguana. Correct. Discern. Discern. Can you use the word in a sentence? Sure. Jack believes that he will discern the overgrown trail by himself and does not wish to use a GPS device to help him locate it. Discern. Can I get the definition? Discern is to detect something, such as something obscure or distant, with the eyes. Discern. Discern. D I S C E R N. Discern. That's correct. <laughs> Fletcherism. Fletcherism. F L E T. C H E R I S M. Fletcherism. Correct. <laughs> Incorruptible. Could you give me the definition, please? Sure. Incorruptible means incapable of being bribed or changed from good to bad in morals, manners, or actions. Incorruptible. Incorruptible. I-N-C-O-R-R-U-P-T-I-B-L-E. Incorruptible. That's correct. Daffodil. Can you please give me a definition? Sure. Daffodil is a plant of the genus Narcissus, of which the flowers have a large corona elongated into a trumpet. Daffodil. Any alternate pronunciations? No, just daffodil. Daffodil, D A F F O D I L, Daffodil. That's correct. 